holidays for those of you who don't observe Christmas. Um. Hi guys, hi and happy Christmas. Merry Christmas or happy holidays for those of you who don't celebrate. For us it's very much not a religious thing but we enjoy the Christmas tree and yeah, the candles and the dark and the presents. So So, uh, it is Sunday the 11th of September, no it's not, December, there we go, right month, and I'm just working on the white here, so since the last vlog I finished off this wing, I did just a few stitches here, and now I'm working on uh, the second girl's wing here. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Hello Stitchy friends, it is Monday evening and this is how far we have gotten today. It was very productive today. I stitched for an hour and a half before work and of course I stitched after work. So you can see I've added the blue of the dress and I've added quite a lot of green here. And I also added just a tiny bit of white up there and I finished off the wing I think since the last time we talked, just at the bottom. So I'm moving on up with this green here, just with the one strand now left from my six strands. <laughs> and then I'll be picking up a new colour and I think I might reward myself for working on the tree with another colour from the blue skirt or the red apron. Maybe the red apron, it's time to finish. So that is what I've been working on. And of course I'm using my favourite needle minder, this beautiful Christmas tree. So, just uh, stitching away, rating towards the finish, and you know what else I did today? I bobbinated all of this and stuck the numbers on, the labels, so doing pretty good. I'm just a bit worried it's not going to fit all in the box, but we shall see. I mean, I don't. it's not like I'm filling up the box yet, so yeah, good luck to me. See you later. Hello, it is Wednesday, and this is how far I am. Please ignore the scrap paper. I just use that to keep the chart off the fabric and I'm very excited. I finished off the uh, the apron and added a few little dots of pink here and there in the tree, including a love heart in the middle there. And I haven't actually been stitching very much the last couple of days and it's starting to look a little bit like she has weird blue legs, possibly too many of them. So I might do the blue next, but I'm also quite tempted to work on her shirt and get that started or finished. I've started it already. Um, and then I can move on to her hair. But I think I would like to finish the skirt first. I really, really want to have her face finished uh, before the end of this week. So I've got Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday to stitch on her. We shall see if I make it. I'm supposed to finish the entire tree in both girls by then, but it appears I'm not stitching as much as I thought I would be this week. So I will say this chart is very easy. Um, there's lots and lots of colour changes so, and lots of counting. So not in that way. And lots of back stitch and lots of French knots, which I haven't gotten to yet. And lots of metallics. And some metallics with French knots. So I'm not saying this chart is going to be an easy chart in that respect. But I will say that there's only really two strands. There's one colour that has one strand and one blend. And the rest are just two strands of cross stitch. Um, and I think that is very unusual for dimensions nowadays. In the past, the, they were easier charts in that respect. So there's a lack of blending and a lack of multiple threads, like three, four, five. So that's very exciting. But it is mostly full cross, this design which obviously means it takes a lot longer than the other Dimensions Gold Kits, which even though they're using five strands, might be, you know, 50% half stitch. Anyway, I'm going to go get ready for bed now. Thank you for listening, and I hope you guys are doing well. 
Hi team, it's Saturday. This is the first time I've had time to sit down and stitch and that was because my lovely partner made dinner for us and said, I said, okay, what do you want me to do? How can I help? And he said, go and cross stitch. So I did and this is, I managed to put in quite a lot of stitches on the beautiful uh, girl on the right hand side, leaving the beautiful girl on the left hand side for later. And uh, you will remember me saying that this chart is super easy because everything is two strands. There's only like a handful of blends and half stitches. And then I was thinking, well, I can see lots of back stitch on the design, but I can't see it in the legend. It's gone. It's not there. And as I was looking for it and looking for it, and it's not on the chart, the back stitch legend and the back stitch, the, the French knots, the couching, all of that. That is this style. Oops. So you can see, for example, remaining thin black lines, thick red lines on the giraffe's mane, thick black lines, thin red lines here and here, remaining thin red lines. This is not going to be fun. And it goes on all for pages and pages. So, I mean, not for pages and pages, it goes on for this one page and two columns. So, uh, yeah, but. I am getting to the point where I'm almost ready to backstitch the girl on the right hand side as just a few colours, I think one colour in her wing, one colour in her shirt and then of course green surrounding her um, to do and then I'll be ready to backstitch her. And maybe one more colour, I think there is a blue here as well that I should do before I backstitch just to kind of... Make sure that everything that I back stitch is, is covered with stitching first. But she has, she is really cute, she's really come together. And um, right now I'm working with this colour here, this yellow, which is also in the wing. And it's going to be all of the gingerbread men, which is very exciting because I think I will finish those tomorrow and go back to. I think I might even finish her tomorrow. We'll see because, like I said, there's quite a lot of background stitches to do. Um, which I'm not sure I'm going to do tomorrow and therefore I won't be back stitching her or at least not substantial amounts I may back stitch her skin we'll see no I'm probably not even going to do that because her hand is holding something here which I haven't stitched yet so I won't be back stitching but I might finish her stitching at least which would be really exciting and then yeah back to tree back to tree background back to green <laughs> tomorrow but I'm going to bed now it's Saturday evening a week until Christmas and um, we finally put the tree up which is very exciting we haven't dressed it yet we've put the lights on but no baubles so that's our plan for tomorrow I hope you guys are having a fantastic day and I will speak to you again soon Good morning everybody, it is Tuesday, um, as you can see I did not get as much done as I wanted to on this piece so far, I didn't touch it at all yesterday, um, but today I'm back trying to finish the little girl on the right, I did uh, finish her hair and her face and now I'm working on her wing, just, just picked up this colour like five minutes ago, so you haven't missed too much. And then as soon as she's finished with all the crosses, I, again, I'm repeating myself, but I'm going to try today to get to the top of the tree. I did manage to do this gingerbread um, man, I think, since the last time we spoke. And he's only about 10 stitches from the top of the tree. So I think we will get there today if I get any stitching done at all. So I'm going to sit down and start stitching and I hope to talk to you again soon. It is about an hour later, still Tuesday, and you can see that I have reached the top, the very top stitch of the tree right there. And it's looking very cute, I think. So I'm going to start working my way down the left hand side now, just to, because I've got how I work, in case you didn't know, is I pick a colour. I take six strands. Okay, that's the messiest. Hang on. I'm not feeling like 100% this week, so my hands are wiggling around. Um... Apologies if the camera is too. Here we go. So I take a strand, six strands, of whatever colour I want to do. And then wherever I can see that colour, while I've still got my six strands out, I will do that colour. And usually I pick like top down, left to right, which is the typewriter method by Stitchy Mummy. But like I will pick a motif and then I will do that. So like for example here I picked like this. And also if, um, like for example, I started here. 
and then did some tree, if you remember. So the next colour on the girl might, like, I'm not going to count all the way up to here, so I would do the skirt or I would do the blue, like whatever's close by. So it's like very loosey-goosey, however I feel. But right now I'm working on this slightly lighter green and I'm going to bring, I've done all of this with it. So I've actually done all of this with this green. So now I'm going to colour, possibly colour complete, depending on if I have enough in my one strand uh, left. And then I keep it on the side um, and pull strand by strand out. And then when I'm done, when I can't reach any more of that symbol, I will put it back in the thread organiser that comes with the kit. And because this is a very old dimensions kit, it actually is one of the older um, ones we have to sort yourself and then put them on these thread cards here. I didn't. This isn't my writing. I bought this on eBay and whoever had um, listed it had obviously intended on starting it. So unfortunately for them, they never got to. But fortunately for me, I didn't have to sort the threads. They came sorted. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to work with this colour all the way down and um, hopefully see sort of the tree shape take place pretty exciting and then maybe do some more of these fiddly missing colors like the moon or the stars because i'm slacking a little bit because they're not as fun to stitch because you have to do what like five stitches and then end your thread and start your thread in a new place but we'll see i should because you know it's good discipline <laughs> oh all right, so it's Tuesday night, and I'm off to bed very shortly, but I wanted to show you how far I had come with my stitching. I even managed to do a little bit of backcountry here behind the angel. But I've also made a mistake, and I'm not going to frog it, and it's right here. Can you see what I've done? Bet you can't. Um, so this is a blend of orange and gold, which is what the, the chart technically calls for. But this here is the blend of orange and gold that it wanted. It did not want me to use gold metallic, it wanted me to use gold. So I have corrected it in this left hand orange, in the right hand orange, and at the top it is gold. And I'm not gonna fix it because stitching with the gold metallic was hell on earth, and I have a feeling that frogging it will be even worse. So I'm gonna leave it as it is, even though it's incorrect. I've switched to the correct blend now. I only have a couple more oranges to do near this angel's feet. And um, yeah. It's just, I'll just have to live with it. It's just one of those things, I suppose. It's a little frustrating that they call both of them gold, but obviously this one is gold metallic, so I should have known better. Um, I'm going to chalk this one up to experience, and also that the person who had sorted my floss had written that it was the gold metallic on the, on the chart, which was incorrect. So I should have double-checked. I didn't, my bad, and uh, if I wasn't so tired, I'd probably have picked up on it, but I didn't. So there we go. So I'm going to finish off this blend and then I want to, um, one of the birds, oops, one of the birds is just here and I want to stitch that bird tomorrow. I think it's about three colours so I think it's totally doable and um, I mean of course it's doable but will I do it? That's the real question. But I'm getting very, very happy with the state of this tree so... Maybe tomorrow I will also do some more of the uh, main green on the tree and the darker green. I'll kind of finish that off maybe, or maybe I'll do the other, the final green that I haven't even stitched a single stitch on yet. Or maybe I'll do something else. No one knows, least of all me. <laughs> but I'm going to go to bed now, um, moisturise and go to bed. Have a lovely evening everybody. All right, really quick update. I did not achieve my goal. It is the 23rd of December. And as you see, the tree is not finished. It's close, but it's not finished. So tomorrow we will be with family all day celebrating because um, in Sweden we celebrate on the 24th. And then of course on the 25th, I'm gonna call home because they celebrate on the 25th. But I did wanna show you my nails. Um, these are fake. Do you see, there's my real nails. <laughs> Um, I glued these on. These are my first ever like at home glue ons and I messed up and my fingers are covered in glue and um, I'm pretty upset about it, but it's fine. They look really, really nice and they're perfect for Christmas. So um, yeah, the glue, the bottle that the glue came in started leaking from the top as well as the bottom. So um, yeah, I'm 
I have some acetone free nail polish which is not what they recommend to use to remove it so I might give it a go later to try and like put it on a q-snap q-snap q-tip um and I also soaked them for ages but they just did not it did not come off so I mean it came off a little bit but yeah I'm a little bit disappointed and I think they're too long for me to stitch with so this will be the last time I do this I think or I will maybe like commission much shorter nails because I, I prefer shorter nails all right thank you for listening and I will see you guys shortly so it is Christmas day I did not do any cross stitching yesterday or the day before as expected I spent the day before uh, making a Yule log for the first time, so making the cake, baking it, rolling it up, unrolling it, frosting, <laughs> rolling it up again, and making my own ganache as well. It was really, really fun, and I had forgotten how much I enjoyed baking, but it was also very stressful, and I'm glad that it was a success, and the cake tastes gorgeous. Um, I also prepared the fabric for a project bag, but when I say prepared, I mean like I cut out and pinned it, but I haven't you know, machined it yet. So I can show you that. Ah, I'm stuck. Help. Here is the front of the bag. And the zipper will be brown. And then this will be the back of the project bag. And this is for my mare and foal project, of course. So that's very exciting. And then this is the lining. This is actually um, an old bed sheet that we don't need anymore. So that was fun. Um, what else did I have ever been up to? I've done some painting, um, and just kind of knitting, general crafty stuff, you know, uh, having a good time. So I don't have that much to show you, unfortunately, in this vlog, but I hope you enjoyed spending uh, a little bit of a build up towards Christmas with me. We're hopeful that it might snow next week. Uh, unfortunately, all the snow here in Sweden melted like three days before Christmas or something. Um, I think it was trolling me because I said I wanted a white Christmas. And yeah, we hope that you have had a fantastic December. Our hearts are with you all. And uh, stay safe and happy stitching. And I will see you in the next vlog.